Now, when Sir Elton John and his partner David Furnish were told that they couldn't adopt a Ukrainian boy and his brother by the country's authorities, a documentary maker captured the couple's anguish. The celebrity's experience inspired a film which looks into the high numbers of children in care around the world and examines why it is so difficult for them to find permanent homes. Kids Rights, the business of adoption, has its London premiere next week. The last person who was being thought about was Lev and his brother Artemis. Um, they were like pawns in a political game, which involved us two. Orphanages are full of children that aren't being picked up and held and being given attention and love uh, all the time. They don't develop as well. It's, it's, I've spoken with psychologists about it. A child who's been in an orphanage for more than three years ends up being almost irreparably psychologically damaged because they've never had this. They've never been held. Every step of the way is a barrier, and it's ridiculous. It's ludicrous and it's, it's inhuman. I know of people who've been turned down because literally they were occasional smokers, because they were overweight. Some scenes there from Kids Rights, the business of adoption. And with me is Francesca Pellini, who we just saw also appears in this film. Francesca, thank you very much for coming onto the programme. Um, this was inspired by Sir Elton John's experience with Lev, the little boy in Ukraine yeah. that he wanted to adopt. Just talk us through what the momentum was behind this film. Um, it was basically the idea is to really th to show just how um, inefficient the system is, how not child-centred it is, and that's true, unfortunately, um, across the globe. And and the experience of Sir, Sir Elton John and David Furnish just highlights how um, impossible it is to give a child a, a loving home, a child who's in desperate need of a loving home, and how the bureaucracy and politics come in the way of, of families coming together. Because the film also says that the little boy then went back to his natural parents, but what happened afterwards to him? Um, unfortunately, his uh, birth mother, the birth mother died of an overdose and the child ended up back in care, uh, which is probably where he's going to stay for the, rest of, for the rest of his life together with his brother. Now, their experience led to Sir Elton John going on to get a family through surrogacy. Yeah. Uh, you did adopt, yeah. but you had your own problems. Talk us through exactly. what happened. It's exactly just, just one more example of where bureaucracy just goes insane and the interest of the child does not, it is not at the centre of, of, of the process. So in our case, we were turned down because um, the council where we lived at the time, in the UK, in, in, the London, UK, yeah. in London, had a cap on the number of white parents that could take on uh, non-white children. Uh, so we were told that that cap had been met and therefore we couldn't even apply to adopt any of the thousands of children that are available for adoption in the UK, so most of them in London anyway. And then, ironically, we were then adopted, we were then approved by the same council to go and adopt ethnically different children on the other side of the world um, in, in Mexico. Mexico, which is, I mean, obviously now those are our children and it's fine, but at, at the same time, I know that there's at least two children in, in Ealing who were not adopted and most likely are still in care. And you went, then went on to actually set up a charity to kind of yeah, highlight this. Absolutely. It's um, Adopt a Better Way. It's a charity that it's a single issue uh, charity and campaigns to improve the system in the UK, both domestically um, and internationally. Uh, because obviously by not, uh, by not adopting these children at the time when it's possible, um, then there's lots of problems and they tend to remain in care and then all the problems that then are evident in, in the movie uh, will then um, have obviously have a ripple effect on society. Now the film in which you appear alongside Sir Elton John and David Furnish, it premieres in London next week. What do you hope it will achieve? I think it, need, it, that it will highlight how big the problem is worldwide, um, but also how big the problem is in the UK. It's, a very, it's a very close to home. In the UK alone, there's nearly 70,000 children in care at any one point in time. A child goes into care every 20 minutes, that's 7,000 a year. And yet the adoption system, the, the, the stats only last week were saying that have halved uh, in the past three months. And so we absolutely need to work to improve the children for the kid, children's sake and for society. Okay. Okay, well, Francesca Pellini, thank you very much for coming along on the programme and also for explaining your charity. Good luck with the thank film. You. Lots more, as always, on our website. But from me and the team here on World News Today, thank you very much. Don't forget, you can get in touch with me via Twitter. I'm at Kasia Madeira. Bye-bye for now.